All right, guys, today we're gonna to be talking about my least favorite EDC knife of 2023. Now, admittedly, this knife is not entirely, this knife I actually think it was made in 2022, so it's not the newest, but today we are talking about the McNeese Mac 2. Now, I've talked about this knife before, I've done reviews on it, but today I thought I'd talk about why I dislike this knife so much. And I think that this is a very interesting knife because when I initially got this blade, I think a lot of people were expecting me to really like it. In fact, this was, as I've mentioned before, one of the handful of knives that I was actually recommended by myself subscribers to purchase to acquire and so I did now first off I want to say that this is a quality knife there's nothing entirely like wrong about this like there's good steel you know titanium handles 3d machined um, or I say CNC machined in the US there's a lot of pros to this knife it's not a bad knife functionally speaking it is also not a bad knife you know using as far as like a user goes however the reason why i dislike the mcnees mac 2 is there's just a handful of things that are just off about this knife for me. Now, first off, I will say, and I do think that had I got the 3.5 inch version of this knife, I probably would like the McNeese Mac 2 more, but undoubtedly there is enough to say about this knife that I can guarantee whether it's the three inch that we're talking about or whether it's the three and a half inch, I wouldn't like it either way. So first off for me, the biggest thing I dislike about this knife is it's very chunky. Now, this is something that's inherent to McNeese as a whole. All of their knives, the McB, that's their Spyderco collaboration, and all of their knives are just built with this chunky aesthetic to it. And I say chunky aesthetic because genuinely this thing is internally milled out, so it is lightweight. This is not a heavy knife by any means, but it feels very thick and very, like, almost robust but in like a chunky way in hand and so undoubtedly with this knife i really like knives that are thinner more sloped more gradual and just don't feel so chunky in the hand so that's the biggest thing i dislike about this knife another thing i dislike and once again to some people's credit they will really like this but and this almost sounds a little asinine to say but this knife and there is something as too smooth and this knife is too smooth as you guys can tell when i close this knife it is an incredibly smooth action and partly that is because this does run on ball bearings but it it is a very well tuned very smooth action so once again some people are either going to love that or they're going to hate that for me i i think that this knife like this is just a little bit too smooth for my personal tastes so i don't love that either in addition kind of going back to the like chunky kind of aesthetics to it the blade stock and grind are not my favorite this is just a traditional flat grind and there's nothing entirely wrong with a flat grind but it doesn't necessarily do anything for me and of course i have tuned this up so it is sharp but i have found that the mcneese mac 2 for me in my opinion is just a little bit thick behind the edge now that doesn't mean like i said this is still an incredibly sharp knife and it will slice and cut but it is also thick behind the edge so there is a little bit more pushing especially with softer or or um, more thin, you know, kind of delicate things. So just keep that in mind. Once again, this is one of those knives that is lightweight and is technically, you know, not super thick or super robust, but is at the same time kind of thick and kind of robust. Now, lastly, I will say when it comes to small knives, I really kind of have a type when it comes to small knives. And as you can see, like my Hinder XM18 three inch is also a three inch knife, similar to this McNeese Mac 2 three inch, but you can see that the way that these have been executed is completely different. And so when we look at knives, like small knives, I really like this Hinder XM18 because you get a little bit more purchase. The handles as a whole are a little bit thinner. You get a little bit more purchase on the handle because it's just a little bit longer. And on top of that, what makes this small knife, the XM18 three inch, feel bigger is the fact that you have a very prominent forward finger choil. So you can get your finger up on there there, choke up on it and in that way the handle is even larger feeling now once again you are dealing with about the same in fact the mac 2 actually has more cutting 
more cutting edge, a larger cutting edge or longer ed cutting edge, I should say. So hypothetically, this is the McNeese Mac 2, a better cutter because you have more cutting edge. But what I like about the Hinder XM18 is, as you can see, a little bit thinner and just a little bit more controllable because of that forward finger choil. So you do lose some cutting edge, but you do gain it back in control. And that's what I like ultimately about the XM18. In addition to, once again, talking about smoothness, I feel like this is the level of smoothness I like, as you guys can see here, very smooth, very, you know, very clean, but it's also not this, like, if you don't get your finger out of the way, it will bite you kind of thing like this thing, absolutely glassy smooth, and at least it's almost a little too smooth. And so for me, the McNeese Pack Mac 2 is a knife that is here to stay in my collection. I'm not actively looking to get rid of it. I'm sure I could sell it pretty quickly, but it's one of those things where I don't really want to sell it. I don't want to get rid of it. It's just not my favorite because it doesn't check off those boxes. For me, it's just a knife that doesn't really give me the fizz, I guess is the best way to put it. So unfortunately, it is a knife that is not my favorite to say and it is once again very similar to knives like the Tour Chasm but even the Tour Chasm is a little bit I want to say a little bit bigger they're very close very close in overall let me see yeah the Tour Chasm is just a little bit bigger um, so the Mac 2 and 3 inch is very very small but yeah, I do have knives that I do like to EDC in this range. Once again, things like the Tour Chasm, things like the Hinder XM18. There are also other knives in the collection that are around this same size range. So it's not necessarily a problem with the size of the knife, in my opinion. It's just more the execution of this knife as a whole. And once again, I think it has nothing to do with the execution as far as quality goes. Just the overall design just isn't isn't my favorite. It doesn't, it doesn't, like I said, give me the fizz, so to speak. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.